What's up guys, toned up. It's about almost the end of January. The weather's got pretty warm. And as you know, I like to grow fruit trees. I got a lot of them in my yard, probably over a hundred of them. And most of these trees right here, yeah, they all grew from seeds. And so what I want to do is uh, I want to graft these peaches right here with different variety. I want to graft them the most easiest ways as I can because I do have quite a few of them. Let me show you what I did. Um, first starting out with the uh, small tree. I can go ahead and splice them together like this way here. I just graft them by cutting the branch in an angle and splice them together. I have tried this technique. This took me forever to do it. So I have a lot of trees that I need to graft new cuttings to. And this is definitely not the way to do it because it took too long. I mean, if you don't have a lot of trees, it's fine, but I got quite a few. So this took me about, I don't know, like 20 minutes or so just to finish splicing all these uh, new cuttings on. Not to mention, I just cut out a bunch of these uh, branches here and now it's just sitting here taking up space. The peach trees I have over here, a few of them, they're different, but most of them, they're similar fruits. So, the fruits they produce, they're not that good. I mean, they ripe about the same time. And I want to graft a few variety of peaches onto these trees. This way, instead of having these kind of peach trees, that in you know, the fruits they are not that good. I want to graft the uh, the better fruits on these trees, so I can have um, not only different variety, they also ripe at different times as, as well. So that's a big plus right there. So I want to do as efficient as possible without cutting any of the branches off, unless I have to. Um, let me show you the technique I'm using. So these are the tools you need. You have a drill with different side drill bits, pruner, and a razor blade for cutting the bark off the uh, the branches to trim them. So I know someone from the nursery, so I got a bunch of different cuttings. Um, I have different kind of nectarines. Uh, let's see, gold mine, white nectarine. I don't know what this one is. Arctic white nectarine. And here I have a bunch of apricots. This is prune, Moor Park apricot. Blenheim apricot. I don't know what this one is. Uh, yeah, a bunch of different kind of cuttings. I have some Asian pears over here, 20th century. Uh, let's see, what's this one is? Ishiwase, Asian pear. And Chojiro, Asian pear. I have a bunch of peaches over here. And Rio Oso, Babcook. Yeah, so I got a bunch of these cuttings from the nursery all for free. My plan today is to grab all these new cuttings. Of different variety of uh, peaches, nectarine, apricot, Asian pear, cherries, and onto the plants I got over here. And I want to do them as quick as possible by using it, the uh, the drill. And let me show you how you do it. This way, when everything's done, if they take, I will have different variety of peaches, apricot, nectarine cherries and more I'm gonna plan to do later on. This way instead of having one kind of peach I have five or six different kinds. Alright let me show you how to use the drill method to quickly graft the uh, the new cutting onto the tree. But before we do so so I had different side drill bits over here. So it depends on the uh, the size of the cuttings. So I try to match as close as possible and I 
Alright, let's go get started. This drill bit is about the same size as the cutting. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and drill a hole into the tree. That should be deep enough. I'm gonna uh, remove some of the bark from here. I want the bark on this cutting right here make contact with the bark on the main tree itself. And once this is done, I have a pruning seal. I'm gonna spray on the open area so that's when moisture won't get in there. And a little bit on the tip right here. And that's it. You put one right here. Insert it in there. Bang it down. Get my seal. See how fast it is. Put the one on this side. You can do it at an angle too. It take me around 30 seconds to do one of them if I have everything ready. Once these cutting tick, then it starts to grow. I can go ahead and chop up this part right here and just let the cutting come out and take over. This way I can give it this branch right here and just have the new cutting and I will have a new a variety of fruits right here that I wanted. And Get rid of the rest of the uh, the branches that grow the fruits I don't want. So I add a few of them. This way, you have more chance some of them will take. Because if you fail, if some of them didn't take, then you gotta wait for the following year to graph again. All right. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of the trees. And this is how easy it is. Just uh, drill a hole, get a cutting, and. Pop it in there and seal it. All right, I got uh, quite a lot of trees I gotta continue doing. So thanks for watching.